Ho, oh, what's up guys and welcome to this week's Waterfowl Wednesday and today we're going to be talking about your 2020-2021 preseason buyer's guide. So stay tuned because Waterfowl Wednesday starts right now. Now, before we get into this 2020-21 preseason buyer's guide, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that like button for me, drop a comment down below. If you, if you have some other gear that maybe I didn't go over that you use, please drop it in the comments down below. I would, I'd like to know your thoughts and what you use, some of your favorite items. Um, me and Kate are getting ready to head to Nebraska in a few more weeks. And, um, you know, this, along with a lot of other things, is things that will be going with us. So, you know, we're Southern folks. We're not used to the cold, really, really cold weather. So if you have any recommendations, please drop it in the comments below. But uh, we got a lot of big things coming up this year. We've got lots and lots of collab hunts planned for this year. We're going to be doing a collab with True Southern Waterfowlers and Magnolia Flyways. We're going to be getting together a lot during duck season with them over in Mississippi and down at the bayou chasing some divers. And also, we've got a collab hunt coming up with, um, well, it's in the works with the Quack Addicts. They want to get down here in the south on a diver hunt. And uh, me and Alex from True Southern Waterfowlers are going to get with those guys, get them down here, and hopefully get them on some redheads, buffleheads, bluebills, and maybe some canvasbacks too, depending on the weather. If it gets cold enough to get some of them old, old bulls down here, we'll, maybe we can get them on some of those too. So, yep. So, all right, let's get into this preseason buyer's guide right now. What's up guys and welcome back to another one and today we're going to be going over the 2020-2021 preseason buyer's guide. Now the items in this video are just some things that that I use this that I'm going to be using this year and that I've used in seasons past and they're just must-haves in my opinion. So let's get into it. The first item I want to talk about is a pair of waiter pants guys you can't go wrong with a pair of waiter pants me personally i like the kind with the stirrups on them um you can get the kind that have the velcro around the bottom so you can you know pull your cuff tight and when you slip your waders on your you know your pants legs don't pull up and end up all watered up inside your waders and uh you know with the breathable waders and stuff these days uh waiter pants just seem to be the best way to go um so I highly recommend you pick up a pair of waiter pants. Now these, I got these from Cabela's. You can check these out. You can go to cabelas.com and check these out. And um, I'll have, I'll also drop a link in the description down below to a different pair of waiter pants, some banded ones and some other stirrup waiter pants that you can go and check out if you don't want to spend the money on the Cabela's brand. So check that out in the in the description below. Click the link to the waiter pants and pick you up a pair if you don't have some already. The next item I want to talk about is a shirt that I wear in conjunction with my waiter pants. It is a, a banded mock tee. It's a thermal shirt. It keeps you warm, keeps the wind off of you. It has a tall collar, keeps the wind off your neck, help keep your neck warm. And this is it right here. See, it's made by Banded. Has a pocket on the front. If you know, if you take your coat off, you know, if it gets a little warm, it has a tall collar on it, so it kind of comes up a little bit higher, helps keep the wind off your neck for a boat ride or a walk in. And it has the cuffs on the sleeve. And it's made out of like a polyester type stuff, but it has the fleece lining on the inside. So it's a very warm shirt and uh, it works great in conjunction with the waiter pants. So I really highly recommend that you pick those up and that item also will be linked in the description below. Matter of fact, all of the items I'm going to go over in this video, 
the links will be in the description so go down there and click the link and pick you up some of this stuff if you don't have it already okay so you've got your waiter pants you've got your mock tee so that, that's your core wear you're keeping your body warm so now we got to get to your outer layer right so now I recommend this is something this is something new that I bought for this upcoming season where I live down here in the south it's really really not a necessity that we have this but I'm gonna be doing some traveling up north this year and I knew it was gonna be an item that I need to pick up so if you don't have one of these I recommend that you do pick one up and that is and it's it's brand new still got the tags on it this is the Drake LST which is for late season technology waiter coat it um uh, it's got a little place right there you can put a call which i don't know why anybody would do that because it'll be on a lanyard but it's got the magnet pockets right here on the inside two little and a zipper pocket on this side it's got the hand pockets up top you know so that your hands are above your waiters got them there on each side and it's got two big shell pockets you'll see here they got a little cardboard thing in there and it's actually it's called a spring pocket you pull it out and it's hard and uh you take that out and if you can see how that does see that how that pops open and it closes shut it has a little metal frame in there that's spring loaded and flexible so you can get your hand in there and get to some shells um you know if you had this over your waders but um personally i will i think i'm going to take that out that's removable you can take that out I'm, I'm gonna have my shells in my shell belt place on my waders and um, or in my blind bag hanging on a tree or right there nearby so I'll probably take that out just because it's kind of you see how it is it's, it's hard and it's long like that I don't want that getting in a bind poking into my side or something like that under my waders but it's removable it's, it's nothing to it to take it out it's just velcroed in there and you can take that out and you don't have to have that but this jacket, this, this late season technology jacket has a removable liner that, you know, if you get some warm days, you can take the, the outer shell off and you can wear just the liner. So that's kind of why I bought that jacket. It's versatile for cold weather and warm to mild weather. So that's what I got that for. So if you don't have one of these, I recommend you pick these up. Um, I got mine in the Max 5 pattern. They have it in Bottomland, Realtree Timber. Um, lots of other patterns so but i'll put the link in the description if you want to pick up one of these jackets all right we got our waiter pants we've got our mock t-shirt on we've got our drake coat on keeping our our arms and shoulders or upper body warm now we gotta get we gotta have some waiters we gotta get in the water so this is what i recommend or what i'm going to be using this year and i do recommend that you try out um if you're looking to buy a new pair of waiters this year i'm going to be wearing the Frog Tog Migration Series Refuge 2.0 Breathable Waders. I bought these waders in the Max 5 pattern. They're available in Bottomland, Realtree Timber, and um, a few other patterns as well. I'm not exactly sure what they all are, but I know they have them in Bottomland and they do have them in Realtree Timber as well. So if you're interested in picking up some of these waders, you can. They have 1,200 milligrams of Thinsulate inside the boots in the lacrosse boot and um, They they're very they seem to be very durable so far. They've got the um, They have a waiter belt around the outside You can cinch it down if you know if it's a little bag in your waist You can pull it down tight and it has the shell holders on the front now. That's that's the big thing with me I will not buy a pair of waiters if it does not have that on the front. I Know they make some that you can clip onto the d-rings and you know it has the hand muff hand warmer and the shell holder on the outside of but i don't like that thing flopping and it gets heavy so i like for it to be made onto my waders and i will not buy them if it don't have that it also has a a waterproof zipper and pocket right here in the front this is fleece lined so you could put your phone or whatever you want to put in there and it also has a flip out section right here that you could put your license if you want to do that i usually keep mine in my blind bag but some people don't so you can put that in there to keep them waterproof keep it dry and um you know it also has a removable liner 
because it is a breathable wader. So you can take that liner out if it gets wet and throw it in the dryer real quick and dry it off. But if you'd like to see more about these waders, I'll put a card right here. I've already done a video on these these waders, so I'll drop a card right here. Go check that video out if you want to see more about these waders. All right, the next item I'm going to talk about is a new item that I bought this year right before till season, and I absolutely love it. It um, and this is a headlamp that I bought off of Amazon. Now it's um, I think it's up to a thousand lumens LED headlamps, so it's really bright. It's got multiple settings, like you can turn it on. It's got a spot, and then it has a you know like a flood type, and then it has all three lamps on at one time for like a super spot, and the flashing SOS which no one will use but it's rechargeable and uh, it doesn't take very long to charge it you plug it up and this little light right here when it's charging see how it's red right now it would be red while it's charging and once it's fully charged that light will turn green and uh, it's it's super simple it looks like it's heavy but it's not and it and these things are a deal because I got this on Amazon like I said for $34.99 and it's a two pack. It comes with two of these 1000 lumen headlamps for $34.99. Two chargers, two lamps, and I'm telling you, I've used them all during till season, which wasn't very, which I didn't get to hunt a whole lot because we, we really had a hard time down here in the south with the hurricanes. But anyway, this thing is worth every penny you'll spend on it. So I highly recommend you click the link in the description and go pick you up one of these headlamps. I mean, good gracious. I mean, I bought me and Cade both a headlamp, a, a thousand lumen headlamp for 35 bucks. And, it's a, and I think it was a prime item too, so I got free shipping. So check that out. Be sure and click the link in the description and go check this item out. Now, the next item I want to talk about is decoys. Now, there are tons and tons of brands of decoys on the market as you already know but and you can go with a cheaper decoy if you want to buy some from academy maybe bass pro redhead brand if you want to buy something like that they'll last you a couple of seasons but the problems you're going to run into with them is is the plastic is very brittle the cold weather is rough on it your keels are going to begin to crack and come off um and then you're going to be taking on water and then your decoys are going to be trash not to mention the paint is going to peel and flake and chip off. So unless you want to buy decoys every other season, I recommend you just spend the money on a good quality set of decoys. And I recommend that you pick up the Dakota brand decoys. Now these are the Dakota Extreme Flocked Head Mallards. Now these things are awesome. They're very, they're flexible as you can see. The keels are flexible, so the cold weather is not going to be not going to be too brutal on them. Um, they have the swivel heads, so you can position your heads however you may or may not want them. They have the flocked head, and I can tell you right now, you take this thing out in the sunlight, and this head pops. I mean, it is it stands out. It looks like a real mallard duck sitting out there. Not to mention the carving. Look how see how this thing is kind of I'm not going to say 3D, but see how it's it's shaped. I mean, the carving on these things are incredible, not to mention the paint scheme. They look great. Now, if you do, I know, now these are expensive decoys. I will say that, you know, you're looking at about 180 bucks for a dozen of them. But um, if you don't want to spend that kind of money, I recommend maybe the Avian X brand. Um, they'd probably be the number two in line, in my opinion, as far as a good quality decoy. Um, but I really, really, really like the Dakotas. My entire duck spread this year is all Dakotas. So I encourage you to go down there and check those out. I'll put the link in the description if you want to go check those out. Now, once you spend good money on a quality set of decoys, whether it be the Dakotas or the Avian Xs, you need to get you a quality bag to put those decoys in. Now, I know a lot of people don't use decoy bags anymore. With the Texas rigging, they just throw them over their shoulder, throw them in their boat, or they walk, carry them in and out over their shoulder. If you're going to spend good money on a set of decoys, I recommend you get a good bag that will protect those decoys, especially if they're flocked heads or fully flocked heads, or even if they're avian X's. The paint scheme on the avian X's are is second to none, just like the Dakotas. So they're, they're, they're running tit for tat there, in my opinion. But you need to get you a good bag for those decoys to protect the paint 
and keep them out of the elements when they're being stored and transported. So I recommend you pick up the Tangle Free Flight Series slotted decoy bag. And I'm going to show you that right now. This is the Tangle Free slotted decoy bag. Now you see I've got the Optifade timber pattern. It actually has two like handle, hand carry handles, and it has a padded shoulder strap that is removable by a big metal, big buckle here. You can, you can undo that, take that off, and you open up your top. Now your top has some pockets on the inside, some mesh pockets right here that you could store, you know, maybe if you want to, um, you could keep your your mojo wings in there if you're doing some walk-in hunting or something like that You could put your mojo wings in there and lay your mojos on top But this bag is great for a flocked a fully flocked or flocked head decoy because it has this very very thin silk Material in here and it doesn't have that Carhartt or Cordura type rough material. That's really bad about um, rubbing the flocking off of a decoy so it's, it's really easy on the paint. So I recommend that you pick up this Tangle Free Flight Series bag. It also has a really, really big, huge pocket on the front of the bag. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. It's a huge pocket. You could, you could store shells or, you know, anything you wanted to put in there if you're doing some walk-in style hunting. So it, it's a very, very versatile bag. And I recommend that you go and pick that up. So that Tangle Free 12 slot decoy bag is a very nice decoy bag that will take care of your high end decoys, keep them out of the elements and protect the flock, the flocking on the head or the full body flocks if that's what you get. So I encourage you to go pick that up and just like all these other items, the link is in the description below. Go down there and check that item out and pick you one up to take care of your decoys this upcoming season. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is still decoy related, but it's motion on the water. Now, you can do this multiple ways. You can use a jerk rig or something like that, or the, you know, the ultimate spreader or whatever they call the motion duct system. Those things are nice, which is basically just a, a jerk cord on steroids. But I'm changing my thing up this year. I'm still going, always going to have my jerk cord with me when I go out hunting. But this year, I'm going to try to rely on this. This is the Higdon Pulsator XS Mallard Drake. It's rechargeable. And you know what it does is it, it, it sprays, it's a bilge pump, and it pumps, it pulls the water and it sprays it up and it hits this duck button. It kind of fans it out. And it, it's on a timer. You know, it has a delay system. It'll spray for a minute, it'll stop. And when it's spraying, that, that decoy is rocking like this. Whenever it, whenever that pump kicks in, that decoy rocks like that. And it's, it's making ripples all across the water and it's splashing water, which gets the duck's attention. So I highly recommend you go and check one of those out. If you don't have one, go, go look here on YouTube and watch some reviews on them, watch some videos on them. I have not done one yet, but you can go and check that out. It's a very, very effective tool as far as motion on the water gets the duck's attention. So be sure and check that out. And there is a link in the description below if you want to pick one up. Now, the next item I want to talk about is the Tangle Free Ultimate Backpack. Now, this thing is incredible. It is a huge backpack with tons and tons of room on it. And I, I really can't say enough about it. Now, this is not a review of this bag. I'm just going to briefly show it to you. And if you're interested in picking up one of these backpacks, the link will be in the description. So let me get behind the camera here and I'll show you this backpack. All right. This is the Tangle Free Ultimate Backpack. Now I bought it in the Realtree Timber pattern. It's available in Max 5, Bottomland, and Timber. And I think actually, I think it's available in like a solid brown too. But anyway, so you can pick one of these up. It's got some huge pockets on the outside. Look, this pocket right here, look it goes down almost, it's got stuff in it. It goes almost completely to my elbow. So your thermos for your coffee or whatever you take with you when you go hunting in the mornings will fit right there. You've got two big pockets right here. On, you got a big pocket here. You got another even bigger pocket there, a large pocket there, and another pocket like the one on the other side that your thermos would fit into on this side. So 
you've got plenty of room to put drinks, snacks, shotgun shells, you know, like what I've got in here, thermocells, I've got flashlights in here. I mean, you know, the list goes on and on. Anything you want to take with you, you can just about put on these outside pockets. And the good thing about these pockets is the tops are bigger than the pockets. So when you, you clamp that closed, you know, if you get some rain or something like that, it's going to shed the water away from that pocket and not get it down inside. So that, that's a big thing with me. And the same with this top. This top is bigger than the actual lid or the bottom underside of the bag. So if it's raining, it shares the water away from the inside of your bag and whatever you have in there is not going to get wet. But it clamps closed. It's got two of these big plastic buckles on it, one here and one on this side. You open that up, it has a place on the inside for you to store your licenses and duck stamps. Got all that in there because I've used it recently. And down inside, this thing is huge. I mean, I've got my duck strap is in there. Um, teal call another flashlight just throw it in there there's three boxes of shells in there and i mean look this thing is deep i mean look it goes well above my elbow so it's pretty deep and you can put just about anything you want in there and actually my entire old blind bag would fit inside of this bag so this bag is huge and uh, I highly recommend that you pick one of these up. And also, if you do timber hunting, walk-in hunting, here's another big convenience of this thing. On the back side of it, you know, that would be against your back, on the backpack straps, it has the integrated and they're removable game totes. So you can hang, you can hang some ducks on that shoulder and on that shoulder as well. So you don't even have to worry about having a, never having a game tote as long as you got this backpack, you've got two. And it also has the integrated tree straps. So, you know, you get up to your tree, unbuckle that strap, and go around the tree, buckle it back shut, and you can cinch that strap down tight, and it will hold your bag. Because, you know, a lot of places you cannot use a tree screw. Like Arkansas, it's not allowed. It's illegal. You have to have some type of strap system to hang your bag or your gear on the tree. You cannot use a screw. So... Tango Free did a good job about th th thoroughly thinking that through and adding that to the bag. So if you want to go pick up or check out the Tango Free Ultimate Backpack, I'll put a link in the description. I encourage you to pick that thing up, man. I, I can't say enough about it. I was kind of hesitant about it when I bought it myself, but once I actually got it in and took it out of the box, I was blown away at how big that, gear, that bag is and how much it will store. And... Uh, just the overall design and the thought that Tangle Free put into that bag. So I, I encourage you to go check that bag out. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is chokes. And I know everybody does not use an aftermarket choke. I do. I like to use um, the Kicks High Flyer chokes. And I've actually got a case for them right here. And inside this case, this case will hold three chokes. Now, I've only got two of the Kicks High Flyers. I had the Kicks High Flyer modified and i had the kicks high flyer full now the full is in the case and the, the modified is actually still in my gun and uh, so i have not taken it out and put it back in the case yet but um the kicks modifieds or the kicks high flyers they they shoot and pattern very well from my gun i shoot a frenchie or franky affinity three and they, they pattern very well. They're, they're lethal. They're, it's a deadly pattern and a supported choke tube, which is what I like. So if you're interested in a Kicks choke tube, go check those out as well. I think you'll, you won't be disappointed this duck season if you go with the Kicks High Flyer. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is your duck call. If you don't have a duck call, then you definitely need to pick one up. And I highly recommend the Echo brand of duck calls now there i'm new to them i've never used an echo until this upcoming season i'm going to be using one this year i've used some other calls in the past and i'd actually bought a call earlier this this summer that i had planned to use this year and uh and i like it and i do like it and i may use it some but um, i had a guy kind of kind of push me and urge me to try the echo call so i picked one up and I was blown away at how easy it was to blow and how well it sounded. And um, I can tell you right now, I am a Echo man from now on. I like the Echo call. And what I did, I just bought the 
25 or 24.99 you know plastic polycarb timber call now this is a double reed call it's a timber call i went with the amber color you can pick these up at bass pro amazon other places i'll put the link in the description below but when i took this thing out of the package and i blew it for the first time i was like whoa i have never blown a duck call that was that easy to blow and was and sounded that good that sweet and I, i'll give you a little little sound profile here <laughs> This thing is sweet and uh, very little air very easy to blow and for a $25 call this polycarb is where it's at this thing sounds amazing and I'm definitely going to pick me up another echo call um, I really like to have a coca bola wood call in conjunction and use it with this um, polycarb call so be sure and check those out if you don't have one already now the next item I want to talk about is a tangle free tree strap. Now if you're going to be going to Arkansas, you've got to have this because it is illegal up there to use a screw in tree spike or screw or something like that to hang your gear on while you're hunting in the timber. Or, but if you're going to be hunting in your, your, your state where you live and maybe it's not illegal, I still encourage you to pick up the tree strap just to, come on, give the tree a break, save the tree, right? So pick you up one of these tangle free tree straps now it, it goes around the tree it has the big plastic big plastic buckle right here you can put that around and then you can you know you can pull it pull it down tight cinch it tight it's got tangle free on it which you know really doesn't matter but it's got four hooks and they're slideable you can you can place them wherever you want them just slide them down your strap and put them wherever you want them at so you know and if you get the tangle free backpack it has a tree strap on it so that that frees up a hook right there because it'll hold itself so you can hang your shotgun on one you can hang your your duck strap on another if you're not using the one on the bag so you know whatever you need you've got four places you can hang some gear equipment on if you get hot take your coat off you can hang it up so you just you know it's just it's handy to have so i recommend you go and pick one of those up if you don't have one already so guys, go down in the, in the description below, click the links and check out these items. Duck season is here for a lot of you. It hasn't quite got started for us here down in the south yet. I know it has for some of you guys in the northern part of the country. Your season has already began and, and we're waiting on our, on our turn to get after them. But Kate and I are going to be leaving here in about another three weeks. We're going to be headed to Nebraska and we cannot wait to get up there. We're going to be up there the whole first week of November. And uh, hopefully we're going to get up there and we're going to tear their tails off. That's the, pl that's the plan anyway. So if y'all are new to the channel, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Tap the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And until next week, guys, y'all bust them up.